Kiss fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a Kiss fan, and although we are in winter, it does not feel winter at all, here in Kansas City at least, it's like 50 degrees every day, gets colder at night, then it's 50 again, we will probably have snow late April, we probably won't even have a spring, it'll just go from winter to summer, but while we are in, all right, winter, Let's celebrate Dynasty again. And tonight, Pee Wee, we are headed to Japan. And tonight we are looking at the 1980 Japan Polystar Yellow Obi Dynasty. And this is one I have wanted for a very long time. I'm a sucker for Japanese pressings because those obis just enhance the cover so much. And for some reason, this one always called to me. Kind of love that it's 1980. That's fun. And I also love the yellow and black obi. Just really sets that cover off. Previously, we had talked the 1979 Victor Dynasty with this red obi. And we did a little translation of the Obies. This one, of course, being Escape from Hell. And no shocker there, the Polystar Yellow Obie is the exact same translation. The Polystar Obie on the reverse side actually contains the entire catalog from the first album through the solo albums all the way to Dynasty. The Alives and Double Platinum finishing the Obie out. And since this is 1980, they also include unmasked on the back obi which is also very cool cool to see that on a 79 album there of course the polystar logo casablanca record and film works on the front and i love this press kit photo there on the cover so cool in yellow i love that shot because you can really see peter's lion heads i believe their names were cheese and burger and this photo always reminds me of the prehistory comic books. If you have never read these hard rock prehistory comic books, I highly suggest you hunt them down. These are the greatest comic book series of Kiss to ever come out. There was a falling out between hard rock comics and Gene and Paul after they did these, and they were supposed to continue the story past 1980 into the 80s and we would have got a whole non-makeup history but that never happened there was a falling out but there is some cool very cool dynasty stuff in here and very much always reminds me of that photo on the obi and it is when the band is introduced to these new costumes and you can see how much peter enjoys his lion head design these are absolutely great comic books, and if you have never read these, there are three of them. Very much worth your time and money. Here is the inner jacket of the Polystar version. Nothing special, just Japanese text on the left side and then American lyrics on the right side. Japanese translated lyrics on the back. Kind of a drastic change from the Victor inner sleeve, which is the inner sleeve that we're all used to in the American version, that roller disco, bright light KISS logo. Super fun and cool, but you open it up and of course the Japanese text, but you also get a Dynasty poster with the logo and album logo on either side. Full color, crisp pages. A night and day difference to the Polystar booklet, but fun nonetheless. Quick shot of the inner ring on the Polystar. Clearly not as fun as the American version with that band photo on the center ring. That was such a great idea for Kiss to do. Such a great idea. Missed opportunity on Rock and Roll Over, but such fun. Love Gun through Unmasked. Wrong, sir. Wrong. Actually, through the Elder. I apologize. Through the Elder. And the Japanese creatures, if we want to get technical about it. Oh, shut up, Ralph. Lastly, I just kind of wanted to show you... If this album didn't have the Obi and the inner booklet, I would think this album was fake. This album, I don't think, has been touched, played with, shoved in and out of a shelf. The corners are absolutely pristine. Just 
100% top notch. Maybe it doesn't come through on video, but this is an absolute 100% perfect album cover. Rarely do you see album covers with no dings, zero dings, just absolutely pristine. It looks, honestly, it looks like it got pressed yesterday. And when I saw it, I thought, man, this has got to be fake, but it has the OB in the booklet, and maybe those are fake too, but regardless, this is a copy I have always wanted to have in the Wax Knight basement. A wonderful companion piece to the 1979 Victor, and further down the Dynasty rabbit hole I go. Thank you all for hanging with us tonight and waxing a little rock and roll nostalgia with us here in the Wax Night basement. We're filming this kind of late for the girlies, so they have called it Nighty Night. We are calling it Nighty Night 2. Take care, be safe, be good to your baby, spay, neuter, microchip. We will talk to you soon. Pee-wee says, Mister, would you just let me sleep? <laughs>